Hey guys, I'm Ivana. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. My channel is all about handbags and a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in. Lately, it's just been about handbags. This past weekend, I had such a great time. I went to visit my mom with my sister and we had such a great girls weekend with a couple of my friends coming to visit and my son was also included in the girls weekend along with his girlfriend and it's always a treat to get to see my family and friends. And then my mom and my sister and I went to go visit my other sister on Sunday at her home and it was just nice to get to hang with everyone. And we had so many laughs and talked about so many things and I don't know, it was just a great little reset. So if any of you guys are watching, thanks so much for making my weekend so much fun and so special. Aside from all the family, which is the most important, I did get to do something that I haven't done in so long. I went to the Dooney and Burke outlet in Aurora, Illinois. I got to see and touch and try on all the bags that I have been eyeing online all this time since the last time I visited, which was last August. And I went there to look for one bag in particular, and I lucked out because they had it. And I'm gonna share it with you today. I don't have the Dooney and Burke shopping bag, but they wrapped it up in this nice paper. So I'm gonna unwrap it with you guys. This is a special piece. It's a, in my eyes, it's kind of a collector's piece for Dooney and Burke. And so for Dooney and Burke collector like me, I kind of feel like I needed to have it in my collection. Now I did not gravitate toward it when I first saw it. I really didn't because I'm not into things like this that much. I'm more into neutral shades and you know, more safe options. But this one, I'm gonna tell you my process, how I kind of decided to go ahead and purchase it. So I have some enablers, I'm gonna name them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call you guys out. First enabler is says what? When she showed her bag on her video, it looked so much prettier to me in video than it does in the stock pictures on Dooney.com. So that was twisting my arm a little bit. And I began trying to decide which silhouette I wanted to purchase this bag in. Then I saw it on Noble Strength's channel and then that twisted my arm even further. And then that led me into the rabbit hole of deep diving into YouTube and seeing if I could search out anyone else's videos on this. And I did find a few other videos then I thought, I need to see this bag in person and try it on and really just see how it looks on me because I gravitate toward bags when I see them on video or on a shelf or in a stock photo. And when I actually try them on, that color or silhouette or shade or what have you doesn't seem to look good on me. And this one, <laughs> just somehow did. So here we go, let's un let's open it before you guys get bored and move away from my video. Please don't click off, just wait, hold on a second. I don't have the silhouette, and this is kind of a throwback for Dooney, I think, which makes it even better, because this bag is kind of nostalgic. Here we go. It is the Dooney and Burke Art Deco Tassel Tote. So when I looked at all the silhouettes, I thought I wanted a smaller size bag because this is a lot of print. And I thought maybe a smaller size would feel safer to me to put on something so colorful that I'm not so used to wearing. And so this bag comes in two sizes. There's a small and the regular, and this is the regular size. And as you can see, it's not really that big. I thought it would be bigger, so this was perfect. They didn't have the small size for me to try on, but I think it is quite a bit, well, a little bit smaller than this, which I thought would maybe restrict the interior a little bit more, the space, I mean, but um, this one does not look too big on me and, oh, it is so pretty. So just 
There's the front, there's the side, the back, no pockets on the exterior. There's the other side and the front again, the bottom has feet and there is a magnetic closure, a crossbody strap that does not have a removable third section to make it a shoulder bag, it's just a crossbody. It attaches to the D-rings, one on the front and one on the back. It is coated cotton, by the way. On the back wall, it has a zipper pocket. No slip pocket and a leather Dooney and Burke patch. On the front wall, there is just one slip pocket. The key keeper is the standard key keeper. And it features this pretty, almost drawstring effect here. It is only for design purposes. And the Dooney and Burke, I believe it's probably the 14 karat gold plated hardware. Let me give you the measurements because I think a bag like this can be deceiving. Measures about nine inches across the bottom length and about 11 inches across the top length there. The height of the bag is eight inches and the width of the bag is about five inches, four and a half to five inches. And the handle drop is four inches and the strap drop length on the longest setting is 23 inches. And it has five adjustments, five adjustments. And on the shortest setting, it is 22 inches. But since it's detachable, you can attach any strap you would like on here. You can have a fun, colorful one, or you can maybe add a black uh, guitar strap if you wanted something thicker. But this leather is the untreated Vaquetta leather and the strap and the handles and the leather trim is made of the untreated Vaquetta leather. Now, this bag was displayed in the window and so it was getting quite a bit of sunlight. And so I noticed that the handles were already a little tanned compared to some of the other ones they were displaying further back in the store, away from the window. And those were more of a white. And so I did ask them if they had one in the back that was wrapped up and brand new that they could give me instead of this one, but they didn't. They only had it in the white background. So I went ahead and took this one. It's already got a little tiny bit of a patina on it, but it's all right, it's gonna happen anyway. So I went ahead and took the one that was on the floor and it was not on sale for the best discount yet. It only was 25% off, which these were on sale on Dooney.com, I think recently for 25% off. So it wasn't any better deal to go to the outlet. Now, I don't think they're on sale right now. So you can either wait for a sale on Dooney.com or go to the, or call the outlet and see if they have any in stock that they can ship you for the 25% off or wait until they go on a deeper discount. That's always an option too. So I just wanna go over my, <laughs> my decision to help me purchase this bag. I went around the store and I tried on all kinds of different bags, silhouettes, colors, and they didn't have the greatest selection this time, I have to say. They had um, Florentine satchels, mini satchels, micro satchels, maybe some nano satchels on clearance in the back of the store. Um, the colors they had, I wasn't really interested in. They, some of them were not in the best shape, but some of them were. I just, I wasn't 
really in search of a satchel at this point. I really was going into the store to see this bag. Also, what caught my eye was a, a red small logo lock pebble grain hobo. And that bag was really pretty. I almost purchased that bag. I tried it on. I'll throw in some photos of the bags I tried on while I was there. I didn't do any filming because I just didn't want to draw any attention to myself. But I did take some photos of trying on some bags. Um, that bag was really pretty. I tried it on with this one on as well and my eye just went to this. So that's how I was kind of deciding on getting this bag because every bag that I tried on that I thought was really pretty and striking, I tried it on along with this bag and my eye just went to this. So something's telling me that this is the bag that I was drawn to. And so I should just probably go ahead and get it while I was there and I had it in my hand. Um, I thought about putting it back and waiting for a better sale, but I thought, what if they don't have it anymore? Or, you know, what if I order one online and it's not in as good of shape? So I just, I just went ahead and got it. Let me just tell you something about those red logo lock pebble grain hobos. There were two of them on the shelf, same bag, same color, red. The shades were slightly different and I wish I had taken a picture to compare and show you. I was going to and then I thought, that's eh, probably not gonna come out in the picture. But one of them was this bright, vibrant, gorgeous shade of red. And the other one was a little more muted and kind of subdued or muddy. I'm not sure how to explain, but it just wasn't as bright. And they both said red on the tag. So just to be aware that if you are ordering a color online and it's the same color, it could actually be slightly different shade. And uh, it's probably just due to the dyeing process, obviously, but that red was gorgeous. What else did I try on? Oh, I also tried on a red small hobo, which is the one with the wide strap. This bag also comes in the hobo shape. And that one, was really, really cute. It was small, but it just hung kind of lower than I like, and it was a really small bag. And again, my eye went to this bag. So um, I'm really trying to be mindful of my purchases, and I didn't want to go nuts and just buy, you know, two, three bags while I was there, even though I was tempted. But I, <laughs> I held back because like I said, trying to be mindful and I wasn't even going to purchase this, but this to me, a Dooney collector's item. So I just thought I'd show you what kinds of larger pieces can fit in here from Dooney and Burke. Here is a larger slit. So that can fit inside. And here is a Carrington. So it is about... <laughs> A Carrington is about the same size. So this does not want to fit in here too well, but this one fits. So this is probably comfortably the max width of an item that may fit in here. Here's my Kindle, so that fits easily. That should give you a pretty good idea of what this fits. It's a good, I would say, medium size bag or small bag. Not tiny, but it's it's a good size. I think it's perfect for me for this kind of a colorful, fun bag to carry. And it's comfortable crossbody. It's not too wide. So let's go ahead and do the mod shots, and then I'll also insert the photos that I took at the it's outlet. On yesterday. the shortest. It is on the shoulder on the shortest length or setting. Here it is on the longest setting, crossbody. And here it is on the shoulder on the longest. That's too long for my liking, but just to show you guys. 
And here it is on the crook of the arm. And handheld. That's it guys. Thank you for joining me for another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. I will leave my Dooney affiliate link down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing this bag and you would like to use my link for shopping. It will be in the description box below. If you would like, please wait for a sale. <laughs> I never like to purchase things full price and I don't like for you guys to purchase things full price either if you don't have to. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.